Hello, in this tutorial series we are going to cover networking in Cocos 2DX C++. This video will cover actually setting up your project so you can use networking and we'll have separate videos covering all the different features. So like I said, this video will cover setting up. We've got a project already generated. We've removed a lot of the code that was already in there. You can do it in a project that you've got already created maybe you've already got a game you want to add some networking functionality that's all good as well one thing I really want to mention is though I'm doing this on a Mac in Xcode and I'm going to be running it on iOS simulators this works exactly the same pretty much for Android it works the same if let's say you're coding on Windows Eclipse Android Studio so I won't be creating a separate video called Android networking because it's it's the same what we're doing is Cocos 2 dx code and it's cross-platform There is one step that you will have to take or potentially take if you're developing for Android as well Or just developing for Android, but we'll show you that as well So if you just go to your header file in here first of all you just want to include the network for slash HTTP client dot h file and now we're going to do void on http request completed this method is going to be called when the request has completed not succeeded but completed and in here you'll handle whether it's been successful or failed I'm going to do cocos 2d network colon colon http client I'm just going to call it sender do cocos 2d network colon colon http response and let's call this response I'm going to copy and paste this a little bit quicker than actually manually typing it out hello world colon colon put some curly brackets now we've got that all done what we're going, going to do is now create our HTTP request to do that do cocos 2d network colon colon HTTP request we're going to put request here request equals new cocos 2d network colon colon http request now we're going to set the URL so set URL and I'm just gonna put this as I'm gonna put it as enter URL here this is just a simple placeholder I'm gonna do request set response callback and this is the method it's going to call once it's successfully no not successfully once it's completed the HTTP request which is this right here so just do cc underscore callback to callback to just means there's two parameters so sender and response for the selector let's put hello world colon colon on HTTP request completed uh, for the target put this now we are going to do cocos 2d network colon colon http client colon colon get instance and now we're going to send the request and finally if you're done with the http request just do request release and in here we're just going to do some basic error checking we're going to do if 200 equals response get response code we're going to do print f successful and do else print f failed and we're also going to do print f error 
code colon and we're going to simply actually showcase the error code that we get or the response code I should say because this isn't an error code necessarily say response code response code response get response code okay this is just moaning because it needs to be a long so let's just chain that so there's no warning there and we're all good to go regarding this error code if you just go to google type in http error codes wikipedia link will get the job done scroll down see a bunch of error codes if you go to the 2xx success section 200 means everything's a okay so it succeeded whereas let's say 404 which is a very common error on the web means phone or found 403 you don't have access to it 406 not acceptable etc etc as you can see there are a lot of response codes most likely you won't be checking for every single one of them let's say in this else section you will just check for some common ones and handle them accordingly so what we're going to do is just run this see what happens so what it's saying response code is minus one and it's saying it's failed so actually I'm going to put a new line here so it looks a little neater but obviously the response code is still going to be negative one it's still going to have failed you might be thinking that if you notice that there is no negative status code and the reason for that is minus one is saying that this HTTP request didn't even succeed it didn't even get off the ground and the reason for that is a couple of reasons we don't have a valid URL and we haven't set a request type the request type could be something like post where you're sending data get where you're just basically just getting some data calling a URL we're gonna have separate videos covering all of that but just to illustrate how this fully works we just need to do request set request type and just put cocos 2d network colon colon http request colon colon type colon colon and in here just choose one of these I'm just gonna put simply get cuz we're not sending any data we'll have a separate video covering the get request but this is just so it works let's see what happens if we run it now still saying failed and you might be wondering why is it saying that because look at the URL it's not a valid URL so what we're going to do is change this to http colon forward slash forward slash www.sonarlearning.co.uk and now run this you might be thinking still negative one failed have I typed this incorrectly no I have not but if you look another error has appeared it says app transport security has blocked the clear text http resource load since it is insecure temporary exceptions can be configured via app info peerless file because i know this is my web server this is fine it's okay to call it if you just go to your project go to info and just right click go to add row it doesn't matter where you right click we just want to create a root row we're going to do app transport security didn't do IntelliSense so it's going to find it ourselves that one right here then we're going to click plus on it or oh, click off it click plus oh we don't want that let's click minus because we want a new row inside here within there you can have two different types of rows allow arbitrary loads and exception domains we want allow arbitrary loads 
set this to yes so if we go back to our scene rerun it we're not going to even change any code yet build succeeded as you can say as you can see it says response code 200 we haven't got the error and it's successful so we now have a working networking example but i'm going to do for slash j jr jr.php this file does not exist on the server so let's see what happens because theoretically we shouldn't get a 200 response code because the file doesn't exist as you can see we got failed and it says 404 go back to our status code and 404 means file is not found so there you go that's how you set up networking in cocos 2dx c++ we'll have separate videos covering all the different request types all the source code will be in or on github i should say and there will be a link in the description to the github page if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please comment and subscribe as it really does help and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day